Statistics, basic concepts. Pie charts. A pie chart is a type of graph that's divided into slices, sort of like a pizza. Unlike other graphs, the values that make up each piece are expressed in percentages. Let's take a look at an example. At a school, the girls' basketball teams are having jackets made for the regional championship. The head coach wants to create a pie chart that shows which jacket sizes they'll need. She starts off by organizing the data into a table. In the first column, she records the sizes, extra small, small, medium, and large. In the second column, she writes down the frequency, or the number of players who wear each size. Five athletes wear an extra small, 10 prefer small, 26 for medium, and 19 for large. Adding up these numbers gives us the total number of players on the girls' teams, 60. She now needs to figure out how many degrees will each size make up in the circle of the pie chart. We know that a circle has 360 degrees. If 360 is divided by the total number of players, this tells us that one athlete equals six degrees. If we multiply six degrees by the number of players wearing each size, this tells us how big each section of the pie chart should be. For example, six times five equals 30. So the extra small section should be 30 degrees in the circle. Six times 10 is 60. 60 degrees for size small. Six times 26 is 156. Size medium will be 156 degrees. And six times 19 equals 114 degrees for size large. To double check her division, the coach adds up the numbers in the degrees column. This equals 360 degrees which means that her calculations are correct. Finally, she adds a fourth column, which will show the percent of each size. If 100% represents the total, and this is divided among 60 players, this means that each athlete equals roughly 1.7% of the team. So let's multiply 1.7 by the number of players wearing each size to determine the percentages. 1.7 times 5 equals 8.5%. 1.7 times 10 is 17%. 1.7 times 26 is 44.2%. And 1.7 times 19 is 32.3%. The sum of this column should be approximately 100%. Since 1.7% was an estimate, it's okay if it goes a little over. This happens when decimals are approximated in division. Now that the table's complete, the coach begins making her graph. She traces her protractor to draw a circle, then uses it to make the first 30 degree section for size extra small. Next up is 60 degrees for size small, 156 degrees for size medium, and 114 degrees for size large. Finally, she adds the percentage to each slice of the pie, making the chart easier to read. Feel free to check out our other videos about statistics or the full tutorial on our website at gcfglobal.org. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.